What's up, YouTube friends? This is your buddy Israel, aka Izzy, coming at you with a little short, quick video about um, my last upload little video. I don't think nobody watched it, but Herman and my my fiance. But um, you know, a lot of people don't turn the bell on. I reckon and don't see it. Sometimes they come through and catch the video. Sometimes they don't. Um, so guys, you should start watching the video. Um, I tried to bring you guys in on me setting my rifle in, and I was right. Um, like I say, uh, if you shot your your, your uh, gun three weeks before you put it in your gun cabinet, uh, and you still thought it was on, check it. You change the ammunition, shoot it, because it's gonna shoot different. I went there, I shot dead center, a little to just a hair to the right, but you can compensate that. You know, it could have been me, but like a half inch, not even a half inch, but it shot way off, it shot like eight inches off. So, um, uh, I did my adjustments, done my little thing with the scope out to show you guys. I, I, like I said, I was videoing it and my phone, I don't, I don't know if I said that yet, my phone went dead, completely dead. It went from like 30% and dropped to nothing. I put it on the charger um, and all it was doing was keeping it alive and then after that, it wasn't even keeping it alive, and when it was keeping it alive, it was like, you know, get a stronger charger or check the cable or something like that. Something crazy. But anyway, it kind of upset me because I was wanting to bring you guys that footage. But uh, it only took me two shots, one to see where it hit, one to adjust it and get it dead on. So I'm an inch and a half high at 100 yards. It put me dead on at 200. 300 to drop about six inches. Uh, that put me about dead on, you know. I could use my uh, elevation reticles for that if I wanted to, but no, nah, I don't do that. I know how to, I've been doing this long enough, I know how to um, aim a little high, you know what I mean? Uh, just like the wind and stuff like that. So, uh, But I did see deer today, uh, and the funny thing is, when I started seeing them, I was like, all right, you know, which I've been seeing them. I just haven't been able i've been on top of them or they've been right on top of me i actually seen them coming from a distance they came a different route in uh this batch of deer did um it had like a little three four five point i don't know he's a little small deer he wasn't but about probably 10 inches tall young deer um let them live um get bigger grow up but it was a big old doe I had, and there was two more does there was three of them to, a little buck and two does. One of those was real light colored, and the other doe was actually bigger than the young buck, which he's probably a year and a half old. But I mean, she is the biggest doe I've seen in a long time. And when the big doe contest comes in, guys, anybody? I don't think I got many people. I got a couple of little buddies here from Wayne County that might be subscribed to me. But um, you better watch out. I got one that's going to give you a run for your money <laughs> if she makes it through the season. Uh, but um, anyway, I pull, went to pull my phone out and started doing some video. And, and I was like, you left your phone in the car because it's completely dead. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to let them see the deer, you know. And listen to me do a little grunting. Let them watch the little book doing his thing, thinking he was something going to come in, you know what I mean? So... Um, Hopefully in the morning they come out. Um, I haven't put no corn out. Uh, they eat. And I put um, I put a forty pound bag out, and part of another uh, forty pound bag. I put probably fifty pounds of corn out, and they eat that. I put that out at about ten o'clock one morning, and the next afternoon it was gone. All but probably maybe. 60, 60 little tiny kernels of corn. So, um, but I don't like hunting over corn, um, even though I'm allowed to, uh, personal private property, my property. Um, because the simple fact, uh, it'll make them go nocturnal. But before the rut kicks off, you know, corn is something good to hunt over. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. I just, I just, don't care really that much for hunting over corn. I mean, I kill my bigger deer with the grunt and using some doe urine. Um, 
you know, I went back to my old ways and um, just started paying off better than, you know, just sitting there hunting over a farm. So uh, I've been very successful. I've been taking some decent deer for the past four years since I've started do, done, doing that. Um, but uh, I put the corn out, you know, for early season for the bow. Um, we'll see what I can get. And uh, I watched a lot of them, you know, seen, a, like I say, my target, my target book, and then another cool book, which would be cool. One with a sticker I was telling about. But, um, like I say, it's one o'clock here. Sun comes up early. It says it's going to come up at like seven something, first light. But, and then the sun's going to rise. I forget what other time it was, but that thing's not right because I was in the tree stand at six o'clock the other morning. I mean, it was pitch black dark, but by six, about six forty five, you could see plenty good. I mean, plenty good. So, um, hopefully, um, if those deer do what they did this morning, maybe the, the batch with the, uh, the other different bucks and the other does that come in, I'm hoping, because normally that's how I've been seeing them. Like one batch would come in and then the other batch would come in. But, uh, the ones I seen the other day, they was actually, these two bucks was actually on a hot doe, so... When they get on on her, they go out. You know, you, <laughs> once they get the once they get in the rut, and this this, I mean, they they can travel up to seven miles. I mean, <laughs> they lose so much. I forget how much percent of their body weight. Uh, Cause they they ain't got but one thing on their mind, and uh, that's breeding. But um, hopefully we can get out there. Maybe we can see something even bigger than what we're after. Or. Um, if not, just see something, you know, bring you guys some footage, show you. Uh, today I had a cool video, like I said, I was showing you some of the land and stuff. It had it, been a really nice video, and it died. It wasn't even going to be a long one. Uh, it, it died, the phone just <laughs> went, the, I don't know why, I don't know what sucked my battery. But, um, maybe uploading that video did, I have no clue. But, um, guys tune in tomorrow morning. You see this, I'll probably be in the bed. Um, I'm going to upload, I'm gonna upload it real quick. I'm going to make the bed. And um, hopefully in the morning we can pull something off. They got a big buck contest going on, but uh, I didn't enter it. Um, had they not cut the timber on me, um, I would have entered it. Um, had I known for a fact I could kill this 120. I'd have entered it just in case these guys with these other bigger bucks that they have pictures of didn't kill them. You know, it still gave me a really good chance, a decent chance, um, at least in placing in the top, you know, in the tournament. But um, like I say, we'll see what goes on in the morning, and I will definitely have my phone charged, and we're going to try to get y'all some content. So stick with me. It's only going to get better, guys. Until next time, y'all keep your heads up. Keep stacking that silver. Keep stacking that gold. Have an awesome weekend. Have fun. Enjoy doing what you love to do. Live life to the fullest. And, hey, if you can, leave each day like it's your last. Until next time, guys. God bless you. Y'all have a good night.